Arguably one of the best pieces that Naoshi Mizuta has composed for Final Fantasy XI, the Sanctuary of Zaita captures the ethereal nature of this area quite impressively and brings me to a sense of peace. Off of the northeastern tip of Merifatad Mountains lies the Sanctuary of Zaita, a vast forest with many aged and towering trees. The Boyata tree is the grandest tree in Zaita and is commonly known by adventurers with its cavernous roots that house the lightning protocrystal and where the famous dragon's eyrie connects. If it's rainy, you may want to obtain a rain hat from Noble Mold one of the rarest notorious monsters of Vanadil that only spawns during the rainstorms of spring. Other wildlife you will find in Zaita are gubu gardeners, funguars, corioles, goblins, and rock golems. Speaking of rock golems, they spawn near the giant rock formations within Zaita. Some of these rock formations are illuminated with a luminescence that shines brightly at all times. The music of the Sanctuary of Zaita to me is extremely serene and relaxing. It opens peacefully with a guitar playing a broken chord accompaniment and the melody played on a flute. Following the intro, the guitar takes over by leading with two pickup eighth notes into quarter note downbeats. The rhythm of these three notes also serve as a motif or a repeated musical idea. This motif provides texture to the terrain as I feel like I am leaping down and back up across tree roots as the melody does. After the first section of the music, the Sanctuary of Zaita turns into a halftime feel with a syncopated rhythm and introduces the bass guitar. This part of the music lets you really enjoy the trees, wildlife, and even beautiful rock formations that encompass Zaita, and the added bass in this section is as beautiful as the sun shining through the trees. Before the final section of the piece, Mizuta introduces a clarinet solo that transfers to the flute and then is built up as it becomes a solely section with various wind instruments. The orchestration of this part is amazing as it grows in pitch from the lower Shalomo register of the clarinet, then starts rising into the clarion register before it is seamlessly handed over to the flute as it continues higher and higher in pitch. I feel the trees in the sanctuary of Zaita are growing with the music right before my very ears. Ingenious. The melody of Zaita returns again, encompassing all instruments you heard previously while adding flourishes in the winds and ending with the guitar and the flute. The Sanctuary of Zaita is a beautiful piece of artwork created by the developers of Final Fantasy XI and would not be complete if it wasn't for its music. The next time you're in the Sanctuary of Zaita, try putting on a pair of headphones and listen to every sound, rhythm, and every pitch that the music has to offer. I believe you'll find that you'll love it even more. Hey everyone, I'm excited to learn of your adventures in Final Fantasy XI, so please leave a comment below about your experience in the Sanctuary of Zaita. I really enjoyed creating this musical journey for you and hope it brings you fond memories or the want to create new memories in the future. If you would like more videos like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with retired gamers. Thank you for watching. Retired gamers.